I'm now joined by Brother Usman. Usman is the secretary of Makki Masjid. Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome, Usman. Wa alaikum salam. First of all, thank you for having me on the show. <laughs> no, no, thank you very much. Usman, there is another um, vaccine hub uh, you guys have uh, s- uh, set up. at. Is it at uh, Makki Masjid? Yeah, so the vaccine hub will be held at Makki Masjid this Thursday uh, the, on the 11th of March uh, between 1.30 and 4. Uh, so obviously it's particularly for the benefit of the DAME community or Black Asian uh, minority ethnic groups. Uh, so specifically a day to encourage anyone from the DAME community to come and get vaccinated. And uh, if I'm not wrong, Makki Masjid is in Healy? Yeah, so Makki Masjid is in um, Healy, and that's Plantation Road, and Sheffield, S89TH. Okay. And is this a drop-in service or appointment service? Anybody can go, come, and or, or do they have to book an appointment? No, in terms of the, um, the service itself, it will be um, a walk-in service, so there's no need to make an appointment before you visit. Uh, so literally, you can uh, just walk in between the, the time of 1.30 and 4. And inshallah, the arrangements are there uh, for them to be seen and, and get vaccinated. There will be a process, obviously, to um, get screened and uh, maybe a bit of paperwork there as well. Uh, but the clinicians will and, and the stewards will be there to assist. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a particular uh, group of uh, individuals that we uh, yeah, I just I'm wanted to ask you the eligibility. What's the eligibility criteria? Yes, yeah, so the main eligibility criteria is anyone from uh, who's working in a care home um, sort of setting or a care home worker, uh, regardless whether that's for adult um, care or special needs, learning disability. So anyone who's working in a care home setting or a care home worker, they'd be eligible. Likewise, anyone who's above the age of 75, regardless whether they have any medical history or medical problems or they're taking any medication, uh, these group of patients would be eligible uh, just because of the fact of their age and them being sort of at risk. And the next group of them would be the frontline health and social care workers, uh, which includes the you know medical professionals and anyone working in sort of social care settings as well. Okay. And finally, the group between 18 and 18 plus, you could say, which is within the clinically vulnerable group. So any 18 plus year olds which have either things like uh, who are mor- morbidly obese, have any sort of severe mental health uh, illness, uh, particularly anyone who's a carer. So anyone who... Well, regardless whether you're a registered carer or not, that is a, it's not necessarily a requirement. So anyone who's either caring for someone who's elderly, another family member, anyone who's is in a caring capacity, um, regardless of them being as a registered carer or in receipt of uh, carer's allowance. So do they have to provide any evidence that if they are a registered carer no, or if I they mean, are? Yeah, I mean, it's not particularly that they need to provide evidence. I mean, we trust our community will be honest sure. and and cooperate, uh, but uh, you know, if they genuinely do feel that they come into the criteria as a carer, then they'll be more than welcome to come. Um, I mean, this particular uh, group uh, or this vaccination hub is being set up for the uh, Healy Trust uh, Primary Care Network, which includes a list of different surgeries. I'm um, okay to quickly run through that list of surgeries. Sure, sure. Yeah, so that includes uh, Shadow Lane Medical Center. Uh, Veritas, which is Meesbrook Medical Center, uh, the Matthews Practices, which includes the Belgrave Medical Center, Carfield Healing Green Surgery, Leadless, both the Sloan Practices, uh, Abbey Lane and Totney Surgery. And so these are the sort of the target group of the, the PCN that we're, we're targeting. However, um, one of the lead uh, clinicians, who's Dr. Gassan Chetty, has also mentioned if anyone was to turn up and they weren't within the PCN, uh, they wouldn't be in a position to turn them away, so they would still be eligible to be vaccinated. But in terms of our service offering, it's particularly for those within the PCN. But if you do fall outside of it, um, uh, perchance uh, someone was 
um, to visit the mosque on the, the day to the, the vaccine hope, then they would be welcome to be vaccinated. They wouldn't be turned away. And is this vaccination program will take place all day or in a specific timing? Yeah, so the specific times will be from 1.30 onwards. Uh, we're aiming to finish for around about 4 o'clock. Uh, so it is only a short session, uh, but there will be a number of clinicians on site. So that will include uh, both male and female clinicians. So any females that wanting to come and they only want to be seen by a female, we will accommodate for that. Um, so, and we will have uh, private areas where the, the vaccine will be taking place. And this uh, hub is, is, is only going to be for uh, BAME community or for everyone? The target group is for the, uh, for the BAME community. However, again, if anyone was to turn up and they weren't part of the BAME community, the as far as I understand, the clinicians wouldn't turn them away so long as they still met the eligibility criteria. But the focus of the day is for the BAME community to encourage them to, to get vaccinated and uh, take this opportunity to uh, and make the most of the opportunity mm. while it's there. Usman, there are so many uh, vaccination centres in the city and uh, uh, all over the country. Do you think there is a need? Do you think the massages also needs to come forward? Yeah, I think partly because there's a lot of um, worries and concern about the vaccine. Uh, I know in Makki Mashid and, and similarly across the city uh, and even nationally, there has been campaigns from the um, platform of the Mashid to get the correct information out there because there seems to be a lot of uh, mistrust and misinformation out, particularly from different media outlets and particularly social media. Um, so we want to get the right information out there, but because mm. there's still a lot of worry and concern, I think offering the BAME community who are particularly uh, high risk uh, a place to come and get vaccinated in the masjid where they may feel a little bit more comfortable uh, in terms of any queries about whether the vaccine is halal or not. All these issues can be addressed. I know the, the Odama and the scholars have been uh, working hard to get the message across that you know there's nothing to worry about in terms of if the uh, fake issues surrounding getting mm -hmm. vaccinated in terms of it being halal, but um, it just gives that extra comfort, sure. particularly to the Muslim community, that you know there's nothing to worry about. So if if, if, if somebody vaccine. comes on that day and they cannot speak uh, English uh, before they decided to make this decision about vaccination, can they ask further questions uh, uh, in yeah. Urdu, Punjabi, etc.? Yeah. So the other thing we will be having a number of different volunteers. Um, particularly from groups like ShipShip, and they will be having multilingual volunteers on the day. Uh, likewise, from the masjid management as well, uh, will be there to help out and um, facilitate any um, translation requirements. Um, but if there are any questions on the day in terms of Urdu, Arabic, uh, Punjabi, you know, all the languages will be facilitated, okay. um, particularly for the Asian um for the Asian groups but uh, yeah I mean that, that's an additional benefit there as well uh, sure. so there will be people who they can sort of ask the questions to and they can translate in, in their said language. Do you have any contact uh, number if anybody wants to contact um, uh, any contact detail which yeah, we I mean, can share? Yeah I mean the, the, the pretense of the, the program or, uh, or the hope day is uh, that they can sort of walk in. Mm -hmm. uh, so we didn't particularly advertise sure. um, a said uh, phone number. Uh, however, I'm more than happy to take any um, sort of Q&A if there's any questions that sure. anyone poses. No uh, they can get hold of me on my mobile. Do you want me to give my mobile on, on, on air or...? Oh, in, f in fact, I'll got your number. So what I'm going to do, so, uh, yeah. So I will ask uh, if any if anybody contact, they can contact us, and we will uh, give them. Yeah, by all means, if you share my number, yeah. and uh, I'm more than happy to answer any questions or if there's any worries about how things are being set up. Mm -hmm. uh, we are working closely with the GPs um, from the Matthews practice or the Belgrave Road part, one of the practices part of the the local PCN here. They have come and done uh, a risk assessment on the site and they've also advised on the arrangements that need to be put in place to make sure the vaccination program is done safely. Uh, so, you know, be rest assured, 
the vaccination will be in the masjid, but it will be done safely and to a clinical standard. Excellent, excellent. I think it's a great initiative. Uh, I know that this is going to be your first uh, vaccination uh, program. So we wish you all the best uh, and uh, keep up the good work. Yeah, likewise, keep up the good work with the, uh, the radio station. Inshallah. Good Thank day. you very much, Usman. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Asalaamu Alaikum. That was uh, Brother Usman. So, another vaccination hub. COVID-19 vaccination hub. Thursday, 11th of March, 1.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. at Makki Masjid. Postcode is S89TH.